morning children you are all welcome to sunday school i hope you had a nice week we thank god for that children shall we pray in jesus name everlasting father king of glory we thank you for bringing us together today we thank you for counting us worthy to be at church accept our thanks and praises we thank you for the lesson you are going to teach us this morning. Accept our thanks and praises. We thank you for the parents. We thank you for the children. We thank you for the teachers. Accept our thanks and praises. Jesus, write your word on the fleshy table of our heart. Make us good boys and girls. And at the end, O oh Lord, help us to see you in glory. For we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. You are all welcome to primary pass class. Our lesson this morning is lesson 10A. No rain. No rain. And our memory verse is, With God, all things are possible. Matthew chapter 19 verse 26. Our text is taken from 1 Kings chapter 17 verses 1 to 16. But we are just going to read a few verses. Children, get out your Bible and let us read. 1 Kings chapter 17, verses 1 to 3. Open your Bible, children. I read. 1 Kings 17, verse 1. And Elijah the Tichbite, who was of the inhabitants of Gilad, said unto Ahab, As the Lord God of Israel liveth, before whom I stand, there shall not be dew nor rain these years, but according to my word. Two, and the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, Three, Get the hands and turn thee eastward and hide thyself by the brook Sherit that is before Jordan. Children, close your Bible and listen to the lesson. Children, I want you to look at this. This is bread and I'm going to break it. You are going to have some of it. Take. You take. Have you ever been hungry before? This will bring us to our lesson story for today. About some of the Israelites that were very hungry. Why? Because they refused to serve God. And God commanded Elijah to go and tell them there shall not be rain nor dew in their land. Without rain, plants will not grow. We won't have food. And God now told Elijah to leave that land. And he told him to go to Brook share it. It's like a, a stream where there is water for Elijah to drink since there won't be rain in the land. And God commanded the raving bird to bring breakfast and dinner for Elijah. God took care of Elijah by giving him breakfast and dinner. And when that brook got dried, God told Elijah to go to Zarephath to a widow. And Elijah obeyed and went. And when Elijah got there, he met the widow picking sticks to go and make cake for herself and her daughter. But Elijah told the widow to give her water and to make a piece of cake for her. But the widow said, I don't have anything at all. I only have a handful of cake 
and small amount of oil for my son and myself to eat and we die. And Elijah told the widow, do my first and that barrel of flour shall not run out and the cruise of oil shall never dry. The widow obeyed. She went and do that of Elijah and God provided for her. She did not lack. They ate, 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 ate until there was rain. Children, our God is wonderful. He is powerful. Look at the lesson. We can see so many miracles in that lesson. When I say miracle, do you know what I mean by miracle? Something extraordinary. Only God can do it. No man can do it. I want us to look at the land. For three years and six months, there was no rain. That is God. Only God can do that. It is a miracle. And God told Elijah to go to Brook Sherit, where the board brought breakfast and dinner. That is God. That is God. He provided for Elijah. That is a miracle as well. We are bored. We bring breakfast and dinner. It is our God is wonderful. He's always there to provide for our needs. And when he told Elijah to go to that widow in Zarephath, and the widow said, I don't have anything. But the widow obeyed. The widow did not lack anything. God cared for them. God was providing for them. Our God is good. When we do his will, he will take care of us. May God please come and help us to do the will of God. What is it God wants us to do? He wants us to be saved from our life of sin. And he will take care of us. He will take care of our parents. May his name be praised in Jesus' name. The statement of our lesson this morning is God cares for us. The activity for today's lesson, ages 2 to 5, circle the words in the puzzle. Ages 6 to 8, God provided for Elijah's needs. We want to look at some ways God provides for our needs as well. Look at the picture and fill in the missing letters. Next week's lesson is Lesson 10B, titled Fire and Rain from Heaven. And the memory verse is taken from 1 Kings chapter 18, verse 24. The God that answered by fire, let him be my God. Thank you, children, for listening to the lesson. God bless you. Have a wonderful Sunday. Bye. See you next week. Welcome to Hansa class. I hope you had a blissful week so far. Yeah, I did. Today's lesson is very crucial. We are going to learn how to ruin God's creation. So, grab your pen, notepad, and your Bible. And let's get started. Our lesson for today is Lesson 92, titled, The Problem. Our key verse is, For all have sinned and come short the glory of God. Can we all say that? For all have sinned and come short the glory of God. Before we proceed, 
Let's have a look at the picture on the screen. What can you see? A red bonnet stove. Right. If you are told not to touch this red stove, then you disobeyed and touched the stove. What do you think will happen to you? exactly what happened to Adam and Eve when they disobeyed God. These consequences of their disobedience are with us today. In that story lesson for today, you remember how Branson stole a gel pen from the counter? Unfortunately, his mother found it in his pocket. And she knew Braston wouldn't have had money to buy the pen. She was very, very angry and said some furious words to him. She said, you were just like your father. Do you want to handle seven time in jail like your father? Braston was troubled in his heart with her mother's speech. He went to his biology class the following day. His teacher, Mr. Alvear, gave the whole class an assignment asking them to make a list of five characteristics they felt they might have inherited from their parents. What a question. Immediately, Brassin had an echo of what happened between him and his mother. Now he heard a new thought troubling him. He asked himself, Hmm, could it be I inherited a desire to steal? He was completely bored out of himself. He narrated the story to Mr. Harvey, his biology teacher, to be counseled. Thank God! Mr. Ave, his biology teacher, was a Christian. He gave Braston an honest answer by letting him know that everyone born into the world is born with sin in their hearts. We all inherited the tendency to do wrong, not directly from our natural father, but from our forefather, Adam. Mr. Alvey answered Braston question in line with the framework of the Bible. And this particular story can be found in our Bible text for today. In the book of Genesis, chapter 3, verse 1 to 10, and Romans chapter 5, verse 12. We are only reading a specific portion, which is Genesis chapter 3 from 1 to 5. Let us open our Bible. I read Genesis 3, 1. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field, which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the women, Yea, hath God said, Ye shall not eat every tree of the garden. And the woman said unto serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree, which is in the midst of the garden, God hath said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the women, Ye shall not surely die. Five, for God does know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened. And ye shall be as God, knowing good and evil. Let us close our Bible and continue our lesson. Right. In the account we just read, we could see how sin came into the world. What is sin? Sin is what we do wrong. God made a beautiful garden called Eden for Adam and Lee. To live in. God Himself planted this garden for them 
and give them a specific instruction to follow. That is, they could eat of every tree in the garden except one from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. If they did, they would surely die. Did they listen? No, they didn't. One particular day, Satan came in form of a serpent and asked Eve about the trees in the garden. He wanted to trick Eve into disobeying God. The Bible tells us that serpent was more corny than any beast of the field. This means he was smart and sneaky. He told the serpent what God had said. She said to him that God said they would die if they had the fruit of the knowledge of good and evil. Serpent wanted Eve to do wrong. He said to her, you will not surely die. For God knows that in the day you eat the fruit, your eyes will be opened and you will be like God. Knowing good and evil. What a fat lies. If believed Satan's lie, she took the forbidden fruit and ate it. And she also gave it to Heather, my husband, to eat. What a pity. Heather and he disobeyed and sinned against God. Sin replaced God in their hearts and separates man from God. God punished Adam and Eve. He sent them away out of the beautiful garden of Eden. A curse was pronounced upon them and all generations to follow. The effect of this single sin were not only fed by Adam and Eve, it also extended to all mankind. Hmm. We are all sinners and born separated from God because we are all the same man of Adam and Eve. Our hero says, all have sinned and conjured the glory of God. Sin brought all kinds of trouble into the world. We sin when we disobeyed our parents and teachers in school and in church. We sin when we lie to protect ourselves, getting into trouble. We sin when we do something we were told not to do. When we put our desires ahead of God, we are sinning just like Adam and Eve. Romans chapter 6 verse 23 says, For the wages of sin is death. Death is a consequence of sin. But praise God, he made a way, a plan of redemption to save us from our sin and to reunite us back to him by sending Jesus Christ his only begotten son to die on the cross of Calvary. Today, you can confess your sins and ask him for forgiveness. He will set you free from sin. Remember, children, I know my heart must be changed for her activity. Check the puzzle below. Circle the words printed in bold cap. Type in the keywords and in the key barrel below. Look forward, backward, up and down and diagonally. That is the end of our lesson. For next week, we're going to study lesson 93 titled The Solution. Shall we pray? Father Lord, we thank you for today's lesson. We appreciate you for priming our lessons that teaches us that all things are possible. Jesus, help us to put all our trust in you. We magnify your name for answers lesson that teaches us that 
Our hearts must be changed. Jesus, come and cleanse our hearts. Come and wash away all our sins. Make our name to be written in the book of life. Save souls today. Sanctify, baptize with the Holy Ghost and fire. At the end, oh Lord, we want to see you face to face. Thank you, Lord, for answering our prayer. For we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. See you next week. Bye-bye. Thank you, boys and girls, for joining today's Sunday School. We hope and pray you enjoyed. Have a wonderful week ahead. God bless you. Bye.